for JSPL, uh, there are basically three rounds. First was written test, the, then second one was GD, and third one was interview. The procedure for uh, JSPL was that uh, first they have uh, put a criteria on CGPA that CGPA should be greater than six. After that, uh, they have uh, shortlisted uh, shortlisted many students from the resume from the branch like mechanical, civil, and chemical and metallurgy. After that, uh, short oh, your shortlisting, they have taken a written test, which is conducted by CoCubes.com. Uh, that written test, uh, basically, they have asked questions from aptitude test, uh, like verbal questions and logical reasoning. And after that, there were some technical questions. So, uh, to go through uh, this type of questions, uh, I suggest uh, there is a book from the gate for GSK publication. They can go through this. Uh, the question is almost same uh, in this test. So after uh, they have uh, almost shortlisted around 25 students after the written test, because firstly they have taken 50 students out of which 25 are shortlisted. The next round was GD round, in which uh, that round was not elimination round. They are basically they have divided the groups uh, into 15 15 groups. So uh, what I think uh, I have made uh, in our topic of uh, group discussion was that uh, should Lokpal bill uh, should be implemented or not. So basically a, a group of 15 you can see it, it is like overcrowded. So uh, uh, what I have done uh, the people are speaking at once so no one is, is able to uh, listen to each other. So what I have suggested in the GD that we should speak one by one. And I have uh, uh, emphasized on that we should put our views one by one. So group agreed to that and they have put their views one by one. So I think that is the point uh, by which uh, it helped me into the next round. So the next round was the interview round. Uh, there was a panel of uh, two gentlemen. One was uh, from HR and other one was from technical. So first of all they asked me uh, HR questions like tell me about yourself. Uh, so, in tell me about yourself. I have uh, told about my some my family background, and the, after that I have explained my projects. Uh, then after that they have asked me that why do you want to join JSPL? This is the standard question. Uh, we can get easily through it if we have studied through the website of JSPL. After that uh, they asked me if there is any location constraint to you, uh, because uh, you know uh, the, the plant in of JSPL is in Odisha or Jharkhand. So uh, it is quite important question. So I have prepared already that I have done my internship in Shri Cement in third year, which is in Biawar, Rajasthan, which is quite remote location. So I have given the example of that so that uh, I emphasized on that and they proceeded to the technical part. After that, uh, in the technical questions, the first question they put uh, that design a pump for us. So uh, I was like blank because design a pump for us without no parameters. So, uh, I know about the specific speed for the pumps. So, firstly I said, sir, we will look for the specific speeds. Uh, for the pump, we have specific speed like GH keep our half upon uh, that the formula we all know. Uh, and according to uh, this, we can design the pump. Like for centrifugal pump and axial pump, there are uh, different specific speeds. After that, I have taken uh, them to uh, the reciprocating pumps. So, I have spoken about 5 minutes on the pump design. So uh, they said okay. After that, uh, they saw my they saw my intern. Uh, I have done internship in Sri, Sri Cement Bayar, in which my project was about the pipelines, uh, like steam pipelines, condensate, water pipelines. So they asked me the question that design a pipeline for us. Uh, for, suppose steam pipelines. So I have uh, emphasized various points like uh, uh, first of all friction losses, like dark equations. And after that I have uh, counted the bed losses and after that I have given implement, uh, implementations on the basis of FEA because uh, I have said through them that if a pipeline, you design a pipeline then there should be a fixed uh, span, span of sports because uh, if there is not fixed span then the pipe will bend. Then accordingly I have, uh, basically I emphasize that I know the software, NC softwares, Adam software. So basically from this I wanted to emphasize that I know the simulation softwares. So uh, they said uh, very good. After that uh, my interview was ended. So it was uh, all about I think 15 minutes of interview they have taken around me. So that will be all.
tips to get through the JSPL. I think first of all, uh, you should uh, read the website clearly first of all because they will ask the questions where are the plants located and can you work under the these conditions because uh, plants are located in the remote locations. And the second tip, uh, I think uh, you should uh, clear your, you should read all the duty topics like uh, they are asked, they ask basically from the current affairs like they have put up the Lokpal bill and other topics for FDI like like FDI. And other important thing, I think uh, they have started my interview in the Hindi that apne baare mein kuch batao. But uh, I answered it in English because I think if you are giving an interview, give it in the formal way because it affects the uh, interviewer. So I think uh, that made a difference because other people have given the interview in the Hindi. So I think uh, that made a difference. So I think these are the useful tips uh, which can get you through JSPL.